roll up on Pissy and Fremont. Yeah, it was my old post. I came up with CBS. Calvin Baker Stricker. <laughs> yeah, I used to have to bang up on y'all all the time. I remember that too. <laughs> yeah. I ain't a cop now, right? I mean, like a toe cutter. I'm sort of like a teacher now. And that's how I come to know name. The only reason I'm even here is Cuddy spoke for you. He say what I'm asking. Your boy is smart and funny and open-hearted. And he got some flex in him. And I ain't see it at first because he was always acting out. Always full up a corner talk. You know, just talking shit to hide himself. But he could go a lot of places and do a lot of things in his life. Be out there in the world in a way that, you know, didn't happen for you and me. I mean, you know our kind? Shit. Man, we both know we're gonna go to our grave forever knowing and what block Benelou dead ends at or, or who got the liquor license at over the underground or what corner Tater Man got shot on when it come out the musical loud back in 88. <laughs> to vision and go. <laughs> I mean, the West Side, we know. It's dead, man. You know, people in the game nowadays, I mean, it's a whole different breed. No code, no family. You know, and damn sure no respect. I mean, you send naming out on them corners now, giving them maybe one, two years before you down the morgue. And maybe, if you're lucky, up here with you. Maybe, maybe not. That's the game. I'm talking about naming him, Mr. Bryce. He's a lot of things, a lot of good things. I mean, before you know, he might surprise all of us given half a chance, but he ain't made for them corners, man. I mean, not like we were. That's why I come down here, because I gotta believe that you see it. Being who you are and, and, and all you've been through. You know your son. It's in your hand, man. You asking too much. Yeah. But I'm asking. Lieutenant Hurd, you can feed up. Lieutenant Hurd.